Hello there, I am Amanda Wilkson of Amanda Wilkson Tarot. Hello Sagittarius, how are you guys doing? It is Tuesday, August the 17th, 2021. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. If you're a long time subscriber, thanks for your continued support. I do really appreciate it. If you're watching me on Facebook or Instagram, if you could go to my YouTube channel, uh, at Amanda Wilkes and Tarot and like, share, and subscribe. That would be great. I'm having a trouble with Instagram, so, well, I'm not posting as well as I, they should. If you'd like a personal reading, please message me. How's everybody doing? I hope you're all doing great. Hope you're taking care of yourselves and the people around you and vice versa. Let's cut the deck for Sagittarius. I am using the Santa Morta Tarot and the Romance Angels by Doreen Virtue Spirit. The Queen of Pentacles, look at you, Sagittarius. This is the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Money. This person is Grounded, balanced, stable, a good business person, um, makes good money, knows how to take care of their money, queen of money. Pentacles are earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Are you the queen of pentacles? Nice, Sagittarius. I was crossing this. The six of pentacles. This is talking about an equal give and take. Um, so, it's only the second card. The, the Six of Pentacles means equal give and take, and it can. there's two things it could mean. It could mean that you are having equal give and take in your life, or there's not equal give and take. We have to see what the rest of the uh, reading shows up. All right, what is consciously known? Queen of Cups. We got the Queen of Love. Nice card. Haven't seen it in this deck before. The Queen of Love. Cups are water energy. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Cups mean love. Um, the Queen of Cups or King. Uh, there's no gender in tarot. Loving, caring, compassionate, nurturing, a good partner, a good parent, queen of love. What is unconsciously known? The ace of pentacles, new money, new money, Sagittarius. Pentacles are money, earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, aces means new, aces mean New things, new money. I like that. Maybe there is equal give and take. Recent past. The Three of Cups. Three of Cups talks about happiness, bliss, joy, friendship, reunion. Cups are water energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Near future. Knight of Pentacles. You're all about the pentacles, Sagittarius. The Knight of Pentacles is a slow-moving knight. I think knights are um, people younger than the queen, younger than the queens and kings. Um, knight of Pentacles moves very slowly, 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 like they have been watching... Um, Maybe you've gone through something in the past and um, they are waiting for you to get over it uh, before they make an offer. But this will be a solid offer. They just take a long time. So this is the night of money. Where do you find yourself? Seven of Swords. Oh no, Sagittarius. I hope this is not you. Seven of Swords. This is a toxic, narcissistic individual. This uh, this person is a liar, cheater, thief, 
sneaky. You can't trust them. If you've got a seven of swords in your life, you need to figure that out. This is the total opposite of what we have so far. We've got the queen of money. We have the queen of love. We have the knight of money. Be careful. Be careful. Seven of swords. Swords are air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. He's come out like three times today. External influences. Seven of wands. Seven of wands. You. This is kind of a wait and see card. Seven of wands. Um, you are waiting. Um, you have to fight through something. It's like six wands are coming towards you. And you have one wand to fight them off with. So this is fighting through obstacles. Hopes and or fears. The justice card. Justice card comes up when there's injustice. All right. There was not equal give and take. There was not equal give and take. You have been involved with a sneak, a sneaky person here that you can't trust. There has been injustice. So, oh, this is a Libra card. Libra card. The justice is coming, coming in to right this injustice. I think it has to do with the um, this toxic person overall outcome. The four of wands. Four of wands. This talks about an increase in commitment. Um, getting ready for the big day, having a party, having a celebration, which is Three of three of cups, happiness and joy and bliss. Let's see what we have at the bottom of the deck. We have the three of swords. Your heart has been broken. All right. No equal give and take. Injustice. Lying and cheating. Heart has been broken. Two threes. Ace of Swords, this, yes, Ace of Swords, you have got new truthful communication, you have figured out about, figured this Seven of Swords person out, good for you, and you have, you're dropping the sword on them, not literally, Five of Wands, there was fighting, arguing, Chaos, conflict with this person. The magician, you are manifesting something positive into your life. The great manifester, um, you could be manifesting cups for love, pentacles for money. Looks like money, you got a lot of money in here. Um, cups for love, pentacles for money. Swords for truthful com communication, which you have just got. New truthful communication. And... Wands for passion. Oh, my mind is... And you end up with the Eight of Wands, which is new passionate communication. Okay, I like it. I like it. Just take care. Don't, um, but now you're forearmed, forewarned, forearmed. You deserve love. You are lovable, Sagittarius. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Unrequited love. There is not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Yes, cut the Seven of Swords out of your life. Because you have the Queen of Money and the Queen of Love. And there's going to be an increase in commitment.
And most likely you are manifesting love. All right, Sagittarius. Uh, I hope you have a great night. I will see you not tomorrow, but the next day for your next reading. Have a great night. This is Amanda Wilkinson of Amanda Wilkinson Tarot. Bye.